Kyle Busch will be credited as the first driver to win a Spring Cup Series race from the pole at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. However, that doesn't tell the real story. Busch won the pole, but started last after an engine change and still came back to score the win in Sunday's NASCAR Spring Cup Series Shelby 427 at his home track, Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Busch drove his Joe Gibbs Racing Toyota to his first win of the season and 13th career Spring Cup win in front of a near sellout crowd at LVMS. A three-lap dash to the checkered flag after the race's record-setting 14th caution flag was set up, but Bush easily outran Richard Childress Racing teammates Clint Boyer and Jeff Burton to the checkered flag. Bush got around Boyer to take the lead on lap 269, and spotter Jeff Dickerson gave a greeting of say goodnight Gracie over his radio for good measure. You never really know how special they can be until you actually get it done, and so uh, today was very, very cool. Uh, you know, the last 25, 30 laps, I was just as nervous as could be, and wasn't really all that great at hitting my marks, but I uh, was hitting them good enough, I guess. And, you know, fortunately, we ran that many caution laps there at the end. That helped, too. But uh, a great day. You know, we started out, had to go to the back, and just methodically thought our way through there and fought our way through there. And, um, you know, just worked on everybody one car at a time. And we had to work on our car a lot, too. It was really, really loose in the beginning. And wasn't sure if that was uh, all me or if it was all car, you know, from getting loose yesterday and wrecking yesterday, you know. So told myself you better man up and drive this thing or else we're not going to go anywhere so fortunately we stayed on the lead lap the whole day and uh, again you know we just kept plugging away at it kept working on it making it better and uh, there at the end with a caution holding those guys getting those guys caught on pit road sort of helped us and uh, got them back behind us and got us further forward that we didn't have to race uh, you know the great cars but I didn't think we were that great but uh, you know we were pretty good so uh, again, just a phenomenal effort by everybody at uh, Toyota and JGR and all the guys on the team. It was really cool. Boyer turned around his luck at Vegas, posting his first top 10 and four starts at the track with his runner-up finish. The day, however, didn't start off good for Boyer as he fell a lap down. The team battled back during the race after crew chief Shane Wilson used pit strategy to get the number 33 Chevrolet out front. You know, to overcome everything we overcome, went a lap down, got real loose early, and went a lap down, got that back, got run into on a restart, 15 wide or whatever we were, and uh, um, fixed that, got going back again, and, and, you know, Shane Wilson made a good call. Um, you know, got to gotta hand it off to, to Shane. I mean, that's, that's where he shines. He studies his pit strategy and works hard on it, and, uh, you know, I really felt like, that, that was going to be an area that would, uh, I could improve on. So I'm um, proud of him, proud of his call, and glad it worked out. Burton, who led 61 laps, scored his eighth top 10 finish in 12 races at Las Vegas Motor Speedway with his third place finish. Kind of the, after last week, that felt like a win. Um, you know, got lapped three times last week and finished third this week and led a bunch of laps. So I'm not real sure how we do that, but we did it. And, um, you know, our struggle has been. Um, you know, being able to go on new tires, we uh, we're pretty good on old tires. Has struggle, you know, struggle on new tires. So that continues to be our, our problem. But you know, I'm real proud of, of what we were able to do today. Um, obviously, Clint and I had a good race there at the end, racing for, for second and uh, you know, racing for the win. But it was uh, it was a good day. We'll uh, after last week, we'll we'll celebrate. David Rudiman scored a career best fourth place finish with Bobby Labonte rounding out the top five for the Hall of Fame racing team. Jeff Gordon, who lost the chance to challenge for a win when he blew a tire after missing the entrance to pit road during a late race pit stop attempt, rallied back to finish sixth. Gordon also led his 20,000th lap to rank seventh in Spring Cup Series history. Greg Biffle, Brian Vickers, Jamie McMurray, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. completed the first 10 finishers. Matt Kenseth's bid to win a record third straight race to open the year ended when the engine his Roush Fenway Racing Ford blew on lap seven. It also wasn't a good day for defending series champion and three-time Las Vegas winner Jimmy Johnson. Johnson first had trouble on pit road and was caught a lap down when caution came out on the track while he was pitting. He then spun and crashed in turn two on lap 280 and finished 24th after leading a race high 92 laps. The NASCAR Spring Cup Series now heads to Atlanta Motor Speedway next Sunday afternoon with a Cobalt Tools 500.